Welcome to Essentials Explained. Today we'll be talking about number formats, a very powerful but often underutilized aspect of Excel. If you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe, and let's jump into the content. So let's talk about why number formats are important and how they can save you a lot of time in setting up your output tables. Here we have a basic table with three years of data from 2020 to 2022. We have four fruit categories, apples, bananas, cherries, dates, uh, two states, California and Oregon, and then a revenue column for each one of those rows. Let's say we wanted to summarize our different fruit categories. So we don't care about the delineation between states, but what we do care about are the years and the fruit categories. So I can pretty easily do this with some ifs. I can copy this column. I can remove duplicates, leaving my four categories. I can grab my year and let's say I just want to do the same thing. I can paste this in. Alt AM will remove duplicates. I actually just want to continue with my current selection. I want just column G. Now I just have my distinct numbers. I copy this. Let's say I paste special transpose. So E and paste special will transpose your data for you. Um, I'll just make that bold and italic and maybe a gray so I can see it. And then within my table, I'm going to use the sum ifs equals sum ifs. What's my sum range? That's my revenue column. Lock that in place. My first criteria range, I will use the fruit category. So highlight the fruit column, lock that in place, and then highlight my first criteria, lock that in the column, leave the row relative. Criteria range two will be my year, lock that in place, and then highlight my year in my lookup table. Leave the column flexible, leave the row in place. So let me just change that formatting. I'll drag that over and then drag that down. And so let's just do a quick check. Maybe I'll add a total column. And if I do equal sum, I can check this pretty quick. And the easiest way I would actually do to check this is just check that all three of these totals equal the total of my raw data. That's fine. This won't always work for you. Maybe you'll only have you know one category in there. But for the most part, this is a pretty clever way just to, to get a quick check. So we have this table here. This is not the cleanest. And I think honestly, really hard to read given how many numbers are here. Like if you look at some of these totals, like looking within cherries, you can see you care that it's you know 16.1 million, but you probably don't really care that it has $351. That number isn't super important given the order of magnitude these numbers are. So what you probably want to do for an output table is put this in different units. One way you could do this is just recreate this table and come up here and I'll tell you, this is how I used to do it and grab this number and maybe divide it by a million. Maybe you want to have one decimal place. This paste special formulas, control V F will give you formulas. If you make all of these one decimal place, you can now see you have your numbers in millions, right? So maybe you want to call this, you know, revenue dollar USD millions. And so for some people that will be fine and you can you know, pretty clearly see in this title, we've called out that it's millions. It works, right? Our, our totals different, but if I want to double check it, I can still do, you know, sum of this multiplied by a million minus sum of this table and it's fine. And so maybe you want to make it a little bit more clear that this is in millions. Maybe this isn't good enough for you. And maybe you want to, you know, make it more clear that this is dollar sign. What some people do and candidly, what I used to do was just concatenate this. And so you can either use, you know, the concatenate formula or I'll just show this with ampersands just so you get an idea of a different way to do it. Dollar sign, ampersand, uh, my value. And then if I do ampersand million, you can see this gets super funky because Excel will keep in all these different decimal places. It doesn't have a way to really understand how you wanna format this number. So if I use maybe a, a text formula, what I can do is 
just say, you know, I'll just do doll, uh, 0, 0.0 just to say, you know, give me one decimal point there. And if I close my parentheses, that looks pretty good, right? I can easily do that if I copy this, paste formulas. So control alt VF will give me formulas across. The problem with this is all of these are now stored as text, right? So if I take this and multiply it by one, I get this value error saying my, my check is broken. It's, it's somewhat hard to work with, but this is one way you could do it, right? And maybe you, you know, want this squiggly line, which I think is called a tilde. Um, you can paste that in you could do this. And this would probably be fine for a lot of people, but what I'm going to tell you is there's a much simpler way to do this, which is just adjust your number formats and make sure you know how to use them. So I built this down here. What I'm actually prefer to do is just highlight all of these cells and go to control one. And so we can go through a bunch of these. What I would do is go up here to custom. Maybe I'll actually just grab one. So grab this just to make it easy. What I want is I want a dollar sign, right? So dollar sign in front. If I want a tilde, I can do that with quotation marks tilde. I actually want to divide this by millions. So if I leave my comma open, this will divide by a thousands because the one comma denotes thousands. Second will denote millions, right? If I delete both of these, I have my full number. One is a thousand, two is a million. Let's say I want that decimal point. I can press decimal point zero and it will show me the decimal point behind my millionth. I can then use quotation mark M, close my quotation mark, and that will give me the same exact answer. But now this is still stored as a number. And most importantly, I actually haven't changed these numbers, right? So you can see my check still works. I'm still referencing this full number range, which is you know, 120 million roughly. And this number still ties because this number isn't different. If I copy this and paste value, you can see I still have 35 or 36 million here. Where here, this actually doesn't denote anything. If I wanted to get these numbers out of here, what I'd have to do is maybe I could just copy this and you know paste value, and then I have this, and I could you know find and replace tilde dollar sign. Probably figure out some way to do it, but not best practice. And I would always recommend use this approach. It's going to be much easier. It's going to save you a step of building a separate table. And it's going to give you much more flexibility in working with your numbers. If you're interested in understanding more about number formats and seeing more examples about how to tactically utilize them in an Excel workbook, please check out the next video in our series linked here. Otherwise, thank you for joining us at Essentials Explained and comment any questions or feedback below.